This is pretty much what it's like filming uh, omakase, right? The holiday season is upon us. So everyone asks, hey, Thanksgiving's here. What interesting thing should I do instead of a turkey? This is a turducken. It's a chicken inside of a duck inside of a turkey. We're gonna try it and see if we can come up with a version of our own. I read the directions this morning. It suggests slicing it lengthwise. Really? Yeah. Okay, I see what's going on here. This is all sausage. Yeah. This is not a turducken. No, it is a turducken, but I guess this is what a turducken is. I never knew. Just stuffing sausage in things. Well, we're good at that. Yeah, we, we can definitely that. stuff sausage in things. This is a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. I don't know what's what, but in your world of beige meats, they're all here. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, that really flavor-wise bounced around a lot. Well, simultaneously going nowhere. I think it was like all the dry spices, which I, I'm not that great. Then you get the, like the poultry, great. I wouldn't say great, no. Oh man. If this is our turducken, how do you want to do it better? I just assumed it would be the chicken up against duck meat up against turkey meat. Right. But then yeah, that wouldn't really hold together at all. You need something in there to kind of bind it all together. We might have to make a, uh, yeah, we might have to make a sausage during this. This might get a little bit more complicated. Damn it. Thought we were getting out of work early today. Yeah. All right, I think we need some other opinions here. Let's get a team together, talk about what we can do. See if we can get some some staff, maybe a customer Outside or two. Outside opinion. Yeah, okay. So we got our panel, Selassie, Lorenzo, Michael. We're gonna do our own version. So yeah. what are what are your thoughts? We want, want you guys to try this too. We have six tiny birds, but we were thinking of either putting pork and dewy in there, or we would have to make our own chicken sausage from scratch really quick as a stuffing between each layer. From a texture point of view, I feel like pork and dewy would like go better with that. Cause like the turkey and this, are you doing turkey? Because it feels like- really No dry. turkey, we're, we're taking the turkey. turkey out of it. The biggest um, bird we got is a duck. Is a duck? Oh, yeah. with the duck is different story. We can put some uh, intestine of the, uh, the bird, you know, like uh, liver, heart, everything put together, put some spice, or the I, th I think we're everything. actually getting somewhere now. This actually oh, sounds God. pretty good. I actually like the idea of using ofo. I, I'm a big advocate of using ofo in general. So we're putting the inside of the bird back yeah. inside of yeah. the bird. Back inside. Oh. Back inside. You see, Lorenzo. Okay. Thank you, thank Michael. You thank yeah. you. Appreciate thank it. Salasi. Thank you. Thank you guys. Let's make a cool ofo, like a poultry ofo liver something like sausage on the fly, and see how it turns out. All get to deboning. We got a quail. We got a squab. We have a pheasant, a Cornish hen, a guinea hen, and a big f***ing duck. I'm gonna have to do some quick research on gizzards going into a sausage. I've never done that before. I've never thought about it before. The livers we'll definitely use, and the hearts we will definitely use. And honestly, like Lorenzo was like pretty dead on. I think we should use like a decent amount of onion, a decent amount of garlic. Um, and then I think we're just gonna go through whatever fresh herbs we have. I kind of think we should just do all poultry sausage. You want to put a layer of andouille in there though? I think so. I think it's gonna taste good. It is weird how I can go from really, really hating this <laughs> project and like having to eat a turducken to being just like now I'm really excited to make a gizzard sausage. This is the guinea hen. You know when you go to a farm and there's those spotted things running around, chasing one another, making like really ridiculous sounds. That's a guinea hen. All right, I have my recipe. Start putting this together. Salt, black pepper, cayenne, mustard. I'm already so tired of doing this. So we'll take the garlic and the onion. We'll grind that through with the sausage just to get it like really, really well mixed in. So that's the hearts, gizzards, and livers of all five birds. We are on to number three, the squab. Let me tell you, it's just as fun to debone <laughs> as the other two were. A game bird is really anything you would hunt. So unless you hunt chicken, which is kind of an unfair hunt. <laughs> Most hunting's being on a level playing field. <laughs> Squab, you've chosen the spear, so shall I. We shall see who now will win. 
It's actually nice. You can see the bits of offal still have some definition. It all makes that nice. And I added another ingredient called sodium tripolyphosphate, which is essentially like a binder, the same as salt, but when it's mixed with salt, they both become super binders together. So hopefully that'll make it really, really stick together well. Wow, this is so much more of a pain in the ass than I imagined it would be. Duck, let's start here. I'm thinking we might have to skip the guinea hen because I'd rather have the pheasant. I love that this is the smaller, more modest version of a turducken. I think we fell into the trap of the turducken though, where it's like, it's already like this ridiculous experiment. Like kind of like, the turducken is a Frankenstein. We scoffed at it and then we were like, but let's add more animals. You know, I'm not very a very religious person, but this might be one that I get stopped at the gates for. It's like, you want stuff birds inside birds. They were not meant for this. That, that is not why birds were there. Do you want to just put one of the legs on each side? And I think we're done. All right, so now we have a quail, squab, pheasant inside of a duck. I'm gonna sew this sucker up. My mother's a home ec teacher, so I'm gonna use the uh, old double knot. I have to say, I did not know you could do this. Dude, this is an impressive sewing job. Salt this mammer jammer. I have absolutely no idea how long this is gonna take. Set the oven for 300. Okay, that so seems reasonable. Could slowly cook through all of these birds. Set a timer for what do you want to say? 60 minutes and we'll check it? Yep. Whoa! They remade Cliffhanger and there's a trailer out! And about two and a half hours later, here we are. This is a smell of smells. Nauseatingly delicious, or maybe just slightly nauseating. Um, I can't tell it's anymore. Very rich. Here we go. Well, it slices like a meatball. Back the f up! Wow. <laughs> and the smell doesn't get any less intense by slicing into it. I gotta say, I'm pretty proud of it. Now that I, we've made it, I, it makes sense that all the force meat and the turducken was in the middle because that's where most of your layering is happening. So that totally makes sense. I mean, it smells, you, you get like a little bit of organ meat, you get a little bit of the, definitely some onion, which was went into the andouille. I'm trying to figure out what's what. Duck, guinea hen. I think our squab, the breast is buried under the force meat. Uh huh. I think this down here is gonna be our uh, quail. Because we put the two legs down at the bottom. Went in Rome, Pennsylvania. The duck is very good. It's not bad. The andouille goes a long way and it is actually kind of like, you get a little bit of that irony flavor from the organs, which is crazy because was, we used five pounds of sausage. Half a pound was organ meat, but it just like comes through just a little bit. It's nice. God damn it. I still hate it. But it's really good. It's not really good. It's, it's acceptable. Really I'm still gonna roast the turkey because yeah. I don't have eight hours to burn before Thanksgiving. But if I had nothing to do, I just might actually make this stupid thing. No, really? Yeah. See what I have to live with here? I don't think this has helped me to understand why turducken exists any better. On its own, turkey, duck, chicken. All great. Love them. Love they don't them. need to be together. No. The sum is definitely not greater than its parts. So take your time, make each of them excellent in their own right. We did this so you don't have to. <laughs> and let's remind you again, we will never make this for you. <laughs> Unless there's like a country home in it for us. We did another dumb thing. That's how you waste a day. But we did it pretty well. Prime time. So this is like a football of meat. 
But if you like the football of football, check out our friends at SB Nation.